Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I got to share with you unboxing and a first look of the latest Kensep knife that I got for my collection. It will be the Hazakura designed by Max Tkachuk. The model number is T1019C5. And it will be, of course, the Micarta variant, since I'm collecting uh, Micarta variants uh, currently. Okay, inside the box we have a microfiber cloth and also some literature. About the warranty and knife care, of course. There's a couple of free spaces here they could put in some pictures of knives or, or something else. Inside we have a small silica packet to protect your knife while in transit and in storage. And of course we are getting this nice storage pouch for one knife with soft inside. Okay, so the the Hazakura uh, looks a little bit similar to to the Prickle. I will be uh, comparing these two knives later uh, at the uh, mid part of the video. Uh, if you did, did not see that video, then uh, check out my Concept uh, Knives playlist. Okay, so the, the name Hazakura comes from uh, Japanese. And uh, it stands for uh, blossoming uh, cherry trees, which is a uh, really beautiful time of the year in Japan. And lots of tourists are coming uh, in that particular time in the year to Japan to witness uh, these blossoming uh, cherry trees. And uh, the, the leaves are falling and it is uh, really a beautiful side to behold so uh, firstly it is inspired by uh, by those uh, Japanese influences like uh, the traditional Tento uh, knife uh, itself and it could be considered as a modern iteration of that uh, traditional style of a Japanese uh, uh, pocket knife Max Kachuk himself the designer is, uh, is, a, is a Ukrainian graphic and industrial uh, designer. From childhood, he was uh, really inspired to, uh, to make uh, knives and uh, he creates some really nice uh, functional aesthetic uh, pieces. You can see uh, him collaborate with different uh, knife uh, manufacturers. So uh, he is guided by this principle that Less is more. Okay, so let me uh, give you the quick specifications about the knife, like I always like to do. We have an overall length of uh, 20.5 centimeters, which is 8.1 inch. The blade length is 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches. The blade width is 2 centimeters or 0 0.8 inches. The blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0. 12 inches uh, the hand length is 11.6 centimeters or 4.5 inches and the thickness without the pocket clip is 1.1 centimeter or 0 0.4 inches the materials used on this one uh, we have on the blade uh, 154 cm with a nice uh, trailing point with a Top portion, uh, swage, cutout, bone breaker, whatever you like to call it. It did not lock up, this is interesting. Now it's locked up. Okay. <laughs> uh, the handle is made out of uh, micarta. It is a canvas style brown micarta with nested steel liners which are nicely and skeletonized on one side 
through and on the other side where the liner lock is only a, at the bottom part here. We have a black G10 partial backspacer. We have a 3D milled titanium pocket clip, or is it? Yes, it is. So the opening method is uh, via front flipper tab right here. And that's probably why it did not lock up. Because when you're opening it, opening it really slowly, yeah, then the lock will not engage. You definitely have to open it with a with a authority. So this probably could break in, but I see potential hazard in this one, just because uh, the lock geometry should be not. Uh, dialed in so that you have to use excessive force to wag the uh, wag the blade, so that is uh, a little bit concerning. So please keep that in mind. Maybe it is uh, only one on my particular uh, model here or my uh, piece, but if you are if you are opening it really slowly then it could probably not engage and then you will have obviously a problem because it could fail and uh, damage your uh, fingers or cut you really badly like you see there so yeah definitely definitely a downside okay the pivot assembly rides on uh, caged ball bearings like uh, the most of the cancer knives have uh, we have a stone wash, black stone wash or titanium stone wash finish. We have a really, a really sharp point on the top here. Let's see the sharpness. So far I can find a piece of paper. So out of the box really nice and sharp no problems there okay we have a weight of 76.3 grams or 2.7 ounces so really nice and lightweight with a nice uh, compact and straight handle shape this will fit probably all uh, hand sizes from small to large we have a dedicated lanyard hole on the back part here which is really nice and large so we can accommodate different kinds of uh, cords we are using the pocket clip is uh, secured with one screw here but i did uh, disassemble the pocket clip to see if it will not move uh, and uh, there is also a piece of metal rod which uh, sticks out in the front portion so it's uh, nice and secured in on two points on the blade we have uh, Max Kacho Skull and Bones logo and the Hazakura name and the other side we have the model number and the steel and the cancel logo right there As far as variants go, uh, you can choose from have G10, uh, white and black micarta, this brown micarta. Uh, there is also twill carbon fiber and titanium with uh, some nice uh, Timascus uh, inlays. Uh, and there is also a jade uh, G10 variant. So depending on what you are getting, uh, the price will increase. The micarta version uh, has a MSRP of $114. On Blade HQ, I saw them for $79.80. Uh, I bought mine from AliExpress. Uh, usually, they will have some kind of 20% discount uh, directly from K9 
concept outlet store there so if you don't see any kind of discounts then uh, you can also write them but if you have your preferred uh, dealer then you can go uh, through them and they will automatically give you probably some kind of nice discount so uh, definitely don't pay the, those $114 for it that is my uh, suggestion to you okay so let's uh, see the pocket profile before I start showing different blades, different knives. So this is how much it will stick out. It will go inside without any problems. Like I always try to share, uh, you have medium to, uh, to hard tightness or how to call it. So it will bend a little bit and you should have no problems to put it inside your uh, pocket. There is plenty of room if you have a uh, heavy fabric trousers or jeans. Okay, and now it is locked. So like I mentioned, uh, previous knife from Concept that a similar design also from Max Kachuk is the prickle. As you can see there, they are uh, a little bit similar. Now, uh, have been using same materials, the micarta and also the blade steel, but uh, different blade shapes. This is almost a slightly drop point or spear point, most, mostly drop point, and uh, is a trailing point. Depends on what you like to have. And this is a more a also a top flipper but has no issues uh, let me open it slowly and it's nicely and nicely and uh, closed so no problems there okay so definitely we can see that max does like uh, to make nice and functional uh, designs so like I mentioned also the prickle or the Hazakura will will be great for uh, different sizes of hands uh, one last thing that I uh, would like to point out that uh, both of them have only one position for the pocket clip you can see on the prickle there are two screws maybe he involved the design a little bit to uh, reduce the screw count on the Hazakura but it is up to you what you would like to to have either a open completely open back construction with the standoffs or a partial backspacer so let us continue with a uh, few different options you can go for so one option here I have is of course the petrified fish 949 which is uh, now also available in a similar type of brown micarta and i must say these are uh, much much nicer micartas than used in the previous uh, iterations of chinese manufacturers like yes i'm talking about the og micarta which was one of the first used on this uh, kaiser pinch so uh, let me put it in the shot right there so I'm really happy that they are stepping up the game so this was the petrified fish then of course a really good example of good knife making and design is the QB Aries then we have the Tusa knives T TS 111 also available in my carta unfortunately this is the more plasticky uh, feeling uh, burlap polished uh, style my carta not the nice canvas from concept i have here also the previous version of my carta that i have used this is the a little main street
from Kaiser I have here the big lighter model 2 and also uh, let me put in the in the frame a Higonokami which is a traditional uh, friction style folder from Japan with uh, a reverse tanto blade Okay, let's continue with we have the QSP uh, Penguin, the CVV Elementum, QSP Pelican. Cebu from Two and Knives Ace Grant from Giant Mouse Red Model One from Ontario. Knife Company Here's the Bonefire from Burger Plus A large reptilian from Benchmade Nine forty from Benchmade. Spider Co. Endura. Pilar Model One from CRKT. Rough Rider Peanut Also Rustic Gent from Siwiwi And let's close it down with the k Dozer Folding Hunter Okay, so this was the Cancer Knives uh, Hazakura by uh, Max Kachuk. If you have any questions, please uh, leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. If you're a subscriber, big thumbs up to you. If you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. Do not miss any future videos regarding knives and uh, all sorts of other things that I do collect and have passion about and uh, would like to share my opinions about it, okay? So, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.